Hey everyone, it is the 19th episode, I think, of the Java Game Development Tutorial Series. Uh, if you remember last time, um, I said that we need to get rid of the way we're adding sprites to the world, because it's not good. Uh, the reason it's not good is because of something called a concurrent modification exception, which, ha which happens when if you modify a list while you're iterating through that list. And that's what happens anytime we want to add sprites, because... When, while our game is being updated, we're going through this loop right here. And therefore, anytime we want to add a sprite, which must happen while we're updating the game, because where else would it happen? Um, we accidentally modified this list while we're iterating through it. We will get a concurrent modification exception, and the game will crash. So we need to fix that by not adding or removing sprites from this list from within the list. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create... In our world class, we're going to create a couple of duplicates of this uh, sprites line. Um, I'm going to create one called add sprites, and I'm going to create one called remove sprites. And these are going to act as little cues, little buffers, sort of. We put the sprites we want to add in here, and it'll wait till the end of this list, uh, of this loop, before adding them. And the same thing with removing them. So you'll notice no difference. It'll still seem like the objects appear and disappear instantaneously because it it'll take no longer than exactly one loop. So, down here we're going to create a new method, not static, public void add sprite, and it takes a sprite as a parameter. So you, we'll just call it sprite. What we want to do is we want to say if not add sprites dot contains sprite, so if that's not in the, so if the sprite is not in the add sprites list, then add sprites dot add sprite makes perfect sense. Uh, add it to the queue of things to add if it's not already there, just to, just to make sure we never accidentally add it twice. Uh, but there's another thing that'll keep us from doing that later on. Um, and then remove sprite, uh, another method, same thing except we do we want to do the uh, remove sprites dot contain sprite remove sprites dot add sprite and of course it's called remove sprite now back in our update method we're going to duplicate this um, a couple of times F this loop right here we're going to say sprite sprite in current world dot add sprites and we say if current world dot sprites dot contains sprites Right. Actually, that should of course be if not current world dot sprites dot contain sprite. Um, so if this sprite does not already exist in the world, then sprites current world dot sprites dot add sprite. So add it to the world if it's not already in the world. Now at the end, this is very important, or else you will have a memory leak and your program will slow to a crawl and eventually stop working. I know because it happened to me. Um, you want to say add sprites dot uh, again current world dot add sprites dot clear. Very very important. This is because you will never notice that these objects are still being stored in the add sprites variable because uh, we, we only add things to the world if they uh, don't already contain it. Although, I guess there would be a small problem there, because once we remove it, that, no, actually there won't be a problem. What'll happen if we, don't, if we forget to clear the add sprites list and the remove sprites list, you won't notice anything until your game eventually slows to a crawl. And the reason it's slowing to a crawl is because the add sprites thing is holding all the objects even ones that aren't supposed to exist anymore. And if we're holding onto the objects or we're, we're referencing the object somewhere, the garbage collector is never going to know that we're done with that, those objects and it will never get rid of them. And eventually this fills up. Uh, it takes a while, unless you're adding sprites really quickly, but it does happen and you don't want that. It's called a memory leak and it's bad. Very bad, shame on you. Uh, remove sprites is the same thing. The reason why we'll never notice is because every frame a sprite in the add sprites very uh, list is going to be added only if it doesn't uh, already exist in the world. Um, in which case, if it does already exist in the world, it won't add it, so it's not going to add duplicates. Also, it won't add it after it's been removed because it'll add it right here because it doesn't exist in the world, but it will be removed again 
uh, just immediately after so you'll never see it because it'll be added and then removed but there's no point in adding and removing objects that aren't supposed to exist you know if you're adding bullets for example let's say you played the game for half an hour and you've added hundreds of bullets every frame hundreds of bullets are being added and removed for no good reason at all so long story short add this line very important now in our second loop we're going to say for sprite sprite in current world dot remove sprites sprite uh no let's see uh if current world dot sprites dot contains sprite so only if this sprite is actually in the world then current world dot sprites dot remove sprite self-explanatory and the all important line current world dot remove sprites dot clear and that's all we need for uh better system of adding sprites. Now I'm going to go ahead and make um, the sprites variable here private and that's going to cause some errors in a couple places. Um, we're going to go ahead and fix those. Um, oh wait, no, we can't do, we can't make that private. Uh, can't make it private. I'm making it private temporarily because I want to get rid of where we referred to it by just saying sprites.add. I want to change that to uh, current world dot add sprite add sprite uh, make sure that all our references to sprites um, to adding sprites uh, are updated uh, this one here is fine because it's not adding a sprite it's just iterating through the list um, as long as it's not modifying the list we're good so we can go back into world and make this public again okay now back to the player we were where we uh, bullets that's it we're going to say world dot current world dot add sprite not add sprites add sprite bullet now I'm curious as to what will happen because I really don't know oh look at that I don't know why it's up there oh it hasn't been adjusted for camera position probably oh uh, no that's not it I don't know what it is oh maybe that is it it hasn't been adjusted for camera position yeah uh, as you can see, we've got a bullet, though, and it moves, which is better than nothing. The, the problem is it hasn't been adjusted for camera position, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, actually, we'll probably add an image to this later on, so that's almost not necessary. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to add an image um, next time. Um, so we won't have, so we'll be able to use the default sprite thing and not have to worry about that. As you can see, though, we do have uh, a sprite, and it does, or not a sprite, but a bullet, and it does move. Um, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. If you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to be able to put up more episodes uh, more frequently. Um, Today I got on my uh, YouTube account, and it said I've got 20 subscribers, so I want to thank everyone who's subscribed so far. Uh, you guys are great. And I also want to, um, I also wanted to mention, I looked, uh, I jumped from about 20 cents on the, on my, uh, ad revenue to about 80 cents, um, in, like, a day. I'm not sure, uh, how that happened, but, uh, thanks for watching the videos, um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.